I take up from your is that okay everybody it's recording hi ma'am 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 ek minute i am a ekama what happened ania aisha hamdan alia okay not alia i'm sorry turn your screen on umar okay who is this ma'am bas ek minute okay no problem and who is this light golden ma'am i am okay okay question uh, aisha yes okay okay so we are so sure that and 12 o'clock we have a math session right and math was supposed to be first to your time table is it math now no right now it's supposed to be able to see the screen decimal yes i told you i'll keep a short test a kind of i have many worksheets for you all today so we will just do uh, you all have just finished finished with fraction right so this could be a kind of test for you all and once we uh, do today's class the next class we will start with decimals a fraction represents a part of whole <clears throat> fractions are used to represent quantity same as division so what is the first sentence telling us that a fraction represents a part of whole now which image is telling that it is whole the first image which is one the second image uh, sentence tells us fractions are used to represent quantities less than one now as you can see there are divisions made in this whole the other three images when it is divided in two equal parts it becomes 1 by 2 which is also known as half correct so half is less than 1 half is less than 1 yes but second image is telling us it is divisible correct and the last image tells us that a whole is divided in four equal parts out of which three part three equal parts are shaded so the fraction will be three fourth part so this is also less than one correct so this and that is one whole one by so that is what i'm telling you that fractions are used to represent quantities less than one so this is what proves my second statement correct that half One fourth and three fourth is less than one. Yes or no? Same as division. Now there are many types of fractions, as we know, right? Now one by one, let us see what are those. Have you all done like and unlike fractions? Yes, ma'am. Reaction from everybody. If yes, please tell me yes. Some type of fractions are like and unlike fractions. Okay, uh, Zuveria, can you tell us what are yes. like and unlike fractions? Don't read what have I done here. What is taught to you all? What you all know about like and unlike? Tell that. Zara, um, jala dikhi. Hi, decimals are the same, and unlike fractions, decimals are different. No, today we will not talk about decimals. We will only 
Zaveria, I can't hear you, dear. Okay, Umar, can you uh, tell us what is like? Ma'am, like fraction have the same denominator, and unlike fraction doesn't. Do. Okay, that is wonderful. The like fraction, fractions with same denominators are called like fractions. Now, here are some example one by four. Ma'am, and unlike fractions are. Uh, Add when the denominators are uh, different. So these are few examples of like fractions, and similarly, these are few examples of unlike fractions. So no matter what is your numerator, which number is the numerator, but if your denominators are the same, they are told to be like fractions. And if your denominators are not same, then they are told to be unlike fractions okay now next thing what is unit fraction and what is non unit have you all done what is unit fraction and non unit okay now this is another type of fraction one is unit and other is non unit fractions with the numerator one are called unit fraction any fraction which has one in its numerator is called unit fraction. For example, here are a few examples. One by two, one by four, one by seven, sorry, one by five, one by seven and one by 10. All these fractions have one in their numerators. So they are known as unit fraction. Simple. Fractions which do not have one as the numerator are called non-unit fractions. For example, two by three, three by four, four by one, nine by one, no matter if their denominator is one, but if their numerator is not one, that means they are non-unit fractions. Okay. In that case, I'll come back to this slide. Now one by four, is it unit a fraction? Two by four, is it a unit or non-unit? Non-unit. Non-unit. Non -unit. Non -unit. Four by four. Non-unit. Uh, non 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 Correct. Everybody non understood. Aniya, Alia. Yes. Please answer. Non okay. Now next we come to proper fractions and improper fractions. And what is improper fraction? Hamza, can you explain us? Ami. Hamza. Hamza, can you hear me? Okay, Aisha. Can you, Aisha Kazi? Ma'am, can what I explain? Proper fraction uh, is that, um, when, when the numerator is smaller than the denominator, an improper fraction is when the numerator is bigger than the denominator. This is described here also. Improper fraction numerator is less than denominator. That means the number which is above the bar, above the line, should be less than the denominator. Then it is called. I am an improper fraction. fraction. There is more than. I am an improper fraction. Not than the denominator. For example, a I'm proper fraction is numerator, four numerator four less than the denominator. Improper is numerator is more than the denominator. Yes. So 2 by 1 is an improper fraction and 7 by 5 is also an improper fraction. That means this is not the way of fraction. For example, I have a, a fraction, an image of a fraction. For example, let us take proper. If that image is divided into 6 equal parts out of which 4 is colored. So the fraction will be represented as 4 by 6. But if I have an image 
of five equal parts. That is how a fraction is written, right? The total number of part is written in the denominator, and the shaded part is written as a numerator. Correct? Am I right? Yes. Yes. So why this is called the improper fraction? So the denominator tells me that how many parts are an image divided into. So if I have an image which is divided into five equal parts, the last one seven upon five. If I have an image, if I have a circle which is divided into five equal parts, now how many parts I have to? Can I shade? Yes, you will, ma'am. You will shade. You will shade seven parts, and there will be total five. That parts. is what. If I have an image which has five, listen to me carefully. Why these are called as improper fraction? That I have an image. Which is equally divided into five equal parts, okay? And the number which we write in the numerator out of five equal parts, you all have to color seven parts. Can you all color that? No, you can't. I want everybody to answer. Oh, ma'am. Hamdan, Umar, Ankita. पॉसिबल and that is how we represent a fraction also right first we write how many parts the whole is divided into that is the denominator and in the numerator which number then you must have heard something known as mean fraction now what is a mixed fraction natural number that number and a fraction mixture of a whole number and a fraction together is known as mixed fraction as you all can see the example here 2 mm. is a whole number a complete yes. entire number a natural number and 1 by 2 is a fraction When they both are written together like this, or when mixed fraction. Now we have learned how to convert mixed fraction into proper fraction, or how you can convert improper proper fraction into mixed fraction. Correct? Ma'am. Yes. Ma'am, what you have to to uh, multiply two by two equals four. Four. Okay, two by two. Okay, who was this? First of all, I want to know. Yes, Amza. Now, if I have to convert this into a proper fraction, what will I do? The easiest and the simplest form is the denominator. That is two multiplied by two, which gives me four. Then the number which is in the numerator, I'm going to add that. So four plus one gives me five. But is five my proper fraction? Is a whole number. So if I want a proper fraction, what is the rule? I will write this denominator as it is. Okay. So there is a rule for this. You all know the quotient, divisor, and a dividend. No. Okay, we will come back. You all don't know what is a quotient. Remember, okay, the divisor the means fraction. Answer of that. Answer of division. Yes. That is. Yes. The yes. Yes. fraction learn that yes yes everybody 
Ma'am, what? In the mixed fraction, how quotient, remainder, and divisor is represented? Have you learned that? No, ma'am. Okay, so we will do that also. Now to just know what is mixed fraction is a mixture of whole mixed, number. Mixed fraction is mixture of whole number, denominator, and numerator. Yes, a fraction and a whole number is known to be a mixed fraction. And finally, I have one more type of fraction for you, which is known as equivalent fractions. Now, what are equivalent fractions? Have you all heard about equivalent fractions? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Yes. Have you all done? Yes, Umar, please tell us. Equivalent fraction means there is a whole thing. 2 by 4, 4 by 8, and 6 by 8 by 16. If you only have 1 by 2, can you tell me is it an equivalent fraction or no? No. You can't tell me because to compare. Or if you want to, there are certain methods to follow. Now, one by two. Then we have to do lowest form. Yes, that is a different uh, thing. But here I'm telling you what is an equivalent fraction. Finding the simplest form is another way of fractions, is another method or another concept of fraction, I will say. But what is equivalent fraction is if I have one by two with me. 2 by 4 is the equivalent fraction of 1 by 2. I will tell you in later class. Now, 1 by 2, the equivalent fractions of 1 by 2 is 2 by 4, 4 by 8, and 8 by 16. Now, these are the equivalent fraction of 1 by 2. Is that equivalent fraction of 1 by 2? No, that is not. So, we will learn these few things which are left. We will complete that and that is why today I took a class on fraction. Now example, you all don't know what is a quotient, remainder and a divisor and that in mixed fraction, correct? So we will see we what have is done, Ma'am, we did it. Ma'am, we did it. You all have done that. Okay, so when I asked you all, just now, you all told me we don't know. Ma'am, chill. Sorry? Tomorrow is your lecture? Uh, tomorrow, yes. I have a lecture with you. Why, Aniya? I am just asking. Okay, you don't like my lectures? No, I like. Okay. If you don't like, you tell me. So I'll try to make it interesting, okay? No. Even I love maths. That is why I've become a maths teacher. Mm. My mother is also maths teacher. Oh, lovely. So maths will be very easy for you, no? Yes. Okay. My mother takes tuition, that's why. Very nice. So now, whenever we have... Every subject. Whenever we have an assessment, Ania is going to bring, okay? Beat her ah, in the sun, okay. not fifty beat her, okay? Who all is going to get full marks with her? Okay, two. Or say, I will tell you now. If I have a fraction, for example... Okay, we will come back to this equivalent fractions later. I'll tell you how to find equivalent fractions of a given fraction. Now, first, let us solve this. Now, one by one, I will give everybody a chance. So, Please do not 
ऐसे सबको क्या ओके टू ओके दिस इज मल्टीप्लीकेशन दैट इज टू हंड्रेड एंड फोर्टी मल्टीप्लाइड बाई मतलब बहुत अच्छा लगता है ये ऐसे वाले एडिशन मैंने ये लॉकडाउन में इतना कुछ कर लिया मैथ्स का अब सब ध्यान में ही रहता है मुझे very good it is a very fun if you take match if you play with numbers you will like match if you think mere ko tuition teacher bhi padhane aati hai ghar pe as you think itna bada number i on your head then you will not like match but if you think okay there are numbers now i have to do something i have to read the question properly now i have to come to a conclusion so you have to use tricks and you have to use your brain so then you'll automatically start liking match you'll automatically start liking numbers if you play with numbers okay mujhe thak now match bahut pasand hai main specially classes jaati thi uske liye very good okay now to coming it okay. tells us that right the correct comparison symbol now which is this symbol we have three symbols here one is greater than one is less than and one is equal to okay now you there are two fractions given you have the fractions and in the box you have to write whether it is greater than one whether it is greater than the other less than the other are first on my screen so i'll ask umar to do that for me okay one by one everybody is going to get a chance so please wait for your turn Now, Umar, the first fraction is one by three, and on the other side you have seven by eight. Now you have to tell me whether one by three is and seven by eight are they equal fractions, or if one by then one by three, what it is? According to you, tell me. Seven by eight is good. One by three is. Seven by Umar, I can't hear you. Ma'am, seven by eight is greater. So seven by eight is a greater fraction. Can you means there is one fraction, or we can say there is one image which is divided into three equal parts. Or you have an image which is which is Divided into eight equal parts, out of which seven parts are shaded. So obviously, seven by eight is greater than one by three. Everybody understood? Yes. Come on, next on my uh, second can I go? Aniya. Come on, Aniya. One by six. And three by four. Now, what symbol will you put? What one by six? Uh, Is it? Ma'am, three by four. Great. Aisha, I told you you have to wait for your turn. I'm coming to you. Aniya, tell me which one is greater? Which one is? मैम एक और बार बोलो ना वो नंबर इट इज वन बाय सिक्स दैट मींस देयर इज अ इमेज व्हिच हैज सिक्स इक्वल पार्ट्स एंड ओनली वन पार्ट फोर इक्वल पार्ट्स एंड ओनली फोर और थ्री पार्ट्स आर शेडेड सो व्हिच इमेज आर दे इक्वल टू और वन बाय सिक्स इज ग्रेटर और थ्री बाय फोर इज ग्रेटर आ Uh, one by one by okay 
1 by 6 what is 1 by 6 is it greater than 3 by 4 or yes. less than four? is it greater okay uh, umar what do you say is it greater or is it, is it less than umar i can't hear you 3 by ma'am 3 by 4 is greater 3 by 4 is greater okay Ania, because you have an image here which is having four equal parts and three parts are shaded. So they show a bigger fraction, right? But here you have an image which is divided into six equal parts, but only one part then one by six, okay? Okay, next you can see Aisha Kazi. Can you tell me three by eight or two by four? Three by eight is greater. Three by eight is greater than two by four. Okay, next Aisha Aga. Four, eight. Excellent. Now see the numerator is same. So is this a unit fraction? Is four by five? Yes, it is, it is unit fraction. No, it is not. I told you a unit fraction will always have one in its numerator. Who next on my screen? One by four and one by two. Which one is one, greater? Which one, one is by greater? four. One by four. Okay. Zuberia, next one. One by six and four by five. Yes, Four by five, excellent. Can you also do the seven one for me, Anja? Yeah. One by two and two by six. six. Which one is excellent? Oh, who is this dead bull? I think so. It is Hamza. Hamza, tell me three by four or two by six. Okay, three. Uh, yeah, three by four or two by six. Which one is greater? I can't hear you. Unmute yourself and answer. Can you hear me? Is 3 by 4 greater than 2 by 6? Is 3 by 4 less than 2 by 6? Or is 3 by 4 equal? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Are they like fraction or are they unlike fraction? Is 2 by 3 greater than 2 by 4? Okay. So similarly, I'll try to add this in the Google Classroom. From there, you all can solve the other side. I'm just moving on to another worksheet here. You have, okay, uh, here you have to tell me, identify whether these following fractions are proper or improper fraction. So the first one is two by three. Is it a proper fraction or an improper fraction? Two by three, is it a proper fraction or an improper fraction? Is it, it's a proper fraction. It's why everybody's quiet. I want you all to answer. It's a proper fraction. 
3 by 4 is improper fraction. 5 by 4 is an improper fraction. Okay. Again, here. 3 by 9 is it proper or improper? Proper. And proper. 8 by 5 is it improper? improper. 7 by 6 proper. proper or improper? Proper. Proper. And Improper. Four by seven. Proper fraction. Proper. Nine by four. Improper. Four by ten. Proper. Okay. Again, six by seven. With Aisha, even y'all can answer. Three by two, proper, improper. 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 Nine by five. Improper. 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 It's a proper fraction. Oh, yeah. Seven by three. Proper. Eleven. What? Six uh, by eleven. Proper. proper. What was seven by six? Huh? What? I'm asking you why. They unlike fraction. If you are telling me that it is an unlike fraction, right? Like Ma'am, they unlike are unlike fraction. fraction because the denominators are different. Excellent. Because the denominators are different. For them to be a like fraction, the denominators have to be same no matter which number you have in the numerator. Okay? The next one, 7 by 3 and 8 by 5. Unlike. Unlike. Umar, Hamdan, everybody other on the class, in the class, please answer. One by five. Unlike. 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 Seven like, by six. Like fraction. Like. Like fraction. Like. Like fraction. Like. Like. Okay, twelve by nine and one by nine. Uh, unlike. Unlike. Two by seven, three by like. seven. Like. Like. like nine by six, two by eight. Unlike four by six, three by six. Like, like, okay, 11, five by eleven. Like, like, okay. like. So now that we all are thorough with what are fractions, what are like like fractions, what are unit fractions, and what are non unit fractions. What is the difference between a proper fraction and an improper fraction? We also know what is mixed fraction. We also know what is equivalent fraction, right? Now, in the next class, we will do some numbers using these fractions. For example, I told you what is quotient remained in a divisor, correct? But you all don't know how it is. Yes, how to write it in a fraction form. If you divide a number, what do you mean by? By a divide, what do you mean? Ma'am, the, ma the uh, quotient will be down and uh, the whole number will be the remainder. And yes. Uh, the, the yes. So we will do this in the next class. We will also see how we can remove equivalent fraction from one fraction. As, as I told, one by two. How do you come to know that 2 by 4 is its equivalent fraction? And further, you can keep adding these fractions, but there is a way of adding these fractions. And there is a method how you get 2 by 4. From 2 by 4, how you get 4 by 8. From 4 by 8, how you get 8. So we will do that in the next class because now it is already 12.45. And we will solve some worksheets again in the next class. And we will wind completely in the next class. Is that okay?
So you all will be very much thorough. What is fraction? Yes. Okay. So for now, shall we wind up with the class? Was this class interesting? Yes. Was a yes. Yes. What yes. We we saw different like and like. What are unit and non-unit? What are proper and improper? And what are mixed fractions? And what are equivalent fractions? Okay. Thank you, Zaveria. In the next class, we will try to solve some fractions mm -hmm. using these with these methods. Okay. We will see how we can make a proper fraction into an improper fraction. Proper fraction is given. How we can uh, what to uh, take it to it one of its simplest form. Is known as proper fraction. Okay. And bye, ma'am. And then we will see if we have a improper fraction, how we can make it into a mixed fraction. If we have a mixed fraction, how we need to divide, you know? We need yes. to divide. Yes. And there is one formula for that. There are two formulas, in fact. The quotient, remainder, and something we have to do. That we ma'am, ma'am, okay. time is up. It is forty-five. Yeah. Yeah. Denominator uh, with the uh, multiplier. Now I'm going to add two fraction into improper. We will learn in the next class. Have you all learned that in your class? Yes, ma'am. We have. We have. We have. We know. Okay, fine. We will do. Uh, Yeah, we will discuss in the next class. Ma'am, we know we have learned that. Okay, so we will just shortly discuss that, and then we will start with the next topic, decimals, next to next class. Okay, so bye everybody. Revise properly and answer me in the next. Class. Tomorrow we have right science at eleven o'clock. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Bye. Nice. Uh, okay.